Mm. Mm -hmm. Stuff is good. It's amazing. It's Zima. Zima is good. Zima. There you go. What is this? Don't know. Just... Oh. <laughs> now that's something that's going to be around for a while. Oh, yeah. So good. So refreshing. Nice. Mm. See this being bigger than Bud in 10 mm -hmm. years. Mm. See what else is on. Starbucks? Five bucks for a coffee? No well, one's gonna buy that. Who drinks coffee anymore? <laughs> oh man. Especially when you have a Zima, huh? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> bring, it, bring it again. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what else is on? Alright, let's see. Ugh. I'm so sick of Seattle grunge music. Uh, look at me in my flannel shirt. Ugh, this oh, is awful. Kurt Cobain. Never gonna last. It'll be gone Doesn't by... Doesn't even make sense. 1996, it's gone. <sighs> Not cool oh. bands like Trickster and Firehouse and Never. Warrant and Winger. Kicks. These guys will be around forever. In bad. fact, look. There you go, MTV. Yeah, MTV's I'm playing. glad they actually play music videos. Yeah, look, well, Trickster. That's exactly what we're talking about. Give it to me. Yeah. Now they'll be around forever. Yep, they're one in a million. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. Man, I tell you, there's nothing better than drinking some Zima, mm -hmm. listening to some hair metal. Mm -hmm. I hate grunge music. You know what? Seattle, Washington, I'm never going there. No. <laughs> never. No, unless you start producing something better than Zima. Cheers, boys. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm All right, welcome back to 21090 Brewing. I am Andy, this is Todd, this is Tony, episode two of our state series. Last episode, we took you to the great state of Nebraska and tried some amazing beers with our friend Wyatt. Yeah, thank you, Wyatt. So today, we're gonna go 1,400 miles away to the great state of Washington. Now, Washington and its vast beauty is a place we'd probably all love to visit. Also has some very notable residents, like the infamous Cape Crusader and famous Quahog Mayor, Adam West. Oh, Adam West. My name isn't Adam Wee. Or is it? Who am I? What number did you dial? Nobody messes with Adam Wee. The state flower of Washington is also the rhododendron. Rhododendron. Oh, rhododendron. Todd, what are the odds you could spell rhododendron? You could do it. Uh... <laughs> If you spell this next word correctly, we will declare you the 2018 Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion. Okay. Rhododendron. R O Dendrum. Rhododendron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, butcher that dude. Yeah. Not very good. You can't spell it either. There's an H in there somewhere. Oh, he looked that up. It's a silent H. <laughs> That's it's right. Yogging. Gets me every time. <laughs> now, we made it no secret when we did look good back in 1994, yes? Mm, and yeah. we made it no secret that we're not fans of grunge metal, and that holds true today. Nice. Yes. Uh, oh, but I it was that. a very big movement that is the birthplace of grunge bands like Nirvana. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Now, obviously, Seattle was infamous for this whole grunge movement, which uh, you mm. can see in 1994 we didn't like, and I'm not going to lie to you, in 2019, we still don't like it very nope. much. But they did have some really cool outfits that came out of there. We had um, Hart. There mm -hmm. you go. Anna and Nancy. Mm -hmm. Great job. Yep. We had Queensryche. Oh, yeah. Nice. They were awesome. Uh, but, yeah, you did have bands like Nirvana and Pearl, Pearl Jam. Jam. Uh, Soundgarden. The death of 80s hair metal. <sighs> yeah. We still hold a grudge. Yes. It's also the birthplace of one of the most infamous game show hosts of all time, 
Bob Barker. Bob Barker. That should do a pretty good job on the prices, right? Seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred dollars. My bid, exactly twenty-one forty-eight. His bid is twenty-one forty-eight. That's an interesting bid. Pretty sure that's going to be the winning bid, Bob. Nah. Wait a minute here. He says he's got it. Now we'll just find out whether you got it or not. The first number is two. Two thousand forty-eight. You got it. Exactly right. You got it exactly right. Don't forget the greatest athlete to ever play in the city of Seattle. Mm -hmm. Probably put the Mariners on the map. King Griffey Jr. Number twenty-four. Sweetest swing in baseball. I think the best of all time. Deep to right field. Oh, baby. Put it on the scoreboard. The kid has done it again. All right, but most of all, we are grateful for the amazing, mm. amazing beers that come out of Washington State. Um, actually, we did a video not too long ago from Elysian. We're not going to spotlight them today, mm. but we did the uh, Def Leppard oh, Pale. Yeah. We'll, we'll link you back below to that that you can see. We went to the concert. We checked that out, and then we did a full Def review. That was awesome. Awesome review. Yes. Uh, good beer, good brewery. But today we've got some beers that we've actually never tried before, and we're very excited. Um, one of the awesome things about Washington State, the Willamette Valley is actually the largest producer of yes. hops in the United States. They produce 77% of the hops oh, that we use oh, here. Wow. So we are excited to taste some of these local brews from the great state of Washington. You know there's 281 brewers in Washington and over 780 Starbucks. Woo! It's a good ratio. It's a lot of good for one and eh, for, for the well, other. You know. But yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. Um, and you know to tell us a little bit about what we're going to sample today, Todd, who do we have up? Yeah, a really good friend of ours, Bill from Happy Trails to Bruce. He has a great website. Check him out if you can. We'll link him below. Bill, tell us what you sent us. Hey everybody, I'm Bill. I'm the host of Off the Wagon and the owner of Happy Trails to Bruce here in Spokane, Washington. Our show is about bringing you honest reviews of the great beers we showcase out here in the Pacific Northwest. And for our friends at 21090. We sent an assortment of IPAs from Seattle and Spokane. This was so that you can distinguish the two types of beers that we have here in Washington between the eastern and western sides of the state. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for letting us work with you and we look forward to doing more projects in the future. I hope you enjoy these beers as much as I have and I look forward to seeing your review of them. All right, Bill, thanks so much. We cannot wait to get into those IPAs and try them out and uh, see what you're all about. Let's dig in. All right, so first up, we have an offering from Fremont Brewing mm. in Seattle. Now, Fremont has been around since 2009. They're a small operation, but they have produced some amazing beers, most notably their Barrel Age oh, series. Yes. Yeah. We got something coming on that. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to see something that's really soon from us um, spotlighting some of the amazing beers coming there so from the Barrel Age series. Really excited about this. But beer. they have an IPA called the Lush IPA that also won some awards. Yes. In fact, it took home the best IPA in Seattle in 2018, there I believe. You go. So. Uh, we're going to try that today. Todd, can you tell us a little bit about this beer? Well, I know it's it's made with some amazing hops. It is made with Citra and Mosaic hops, two of the best hops you can brew a beer mm -hmm. with. And also Citra Lupinum powder, which is sort of that concentrated uh, powder from the hop uh, oils that they get. It's really, really a, a big thing now in, in the brew yeah. world. Um, and, and I'm really excited to try this beer. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's got some kick to it, 80 yep. IBU, should. and yep. uh, coming around 7%, but I am excited to dive into this. I think we should probably try it. Right, let's, let's go. go. All right, so here it is. As you can see, it's quite clear, beautiful looking beer, nice carbonation smell. Good nose on it. Oh, Citra, beautiful. Kind of guava. Citra mosaic, yep. yeah. Oh, let's dive in. Cheers, guys. Fremont Lush IPA. That's Ooh, nice. Yeah. Really refreshing. Now, really refreshing. For ADIBUs, it's not as bitter as I thought it would be. And no. Yeah, you get a little bit of malt uh, forwardness yeah. on this, which I was surprised, well especially balanced. with how... It's really good balance. I can it's, tell why people really dig this beer, definitely. because the malt presence really cuts through that bitterness yes. for ADIBUs, which is really nice. 
All right, so a great start from Fremont Brewing, the Lush IPA, really good stuff. Andy, what do you have next? All right, so next we're going to go to the Yakima Valley, mm. and we're going to sample something from Bale Breaker Brewing, another IPA. Let's go. get into it. All right. All right. Okay, up next is from Bale Breaker Brewery, their bottom color Imperial IPA coming in at 100 IBUs and 8.2%. It's a big one, and I can't wait to get into it. It's got Equinox, Mosaic, Simcoe, a lot of great hops. Can't wait to taste this. Yeah, and Let's these guys it. have uh, been around, they've only been around since 2013, and already they're the fifth largest independent craft brewery in Washington, so Cheers. they're doing it's something good. right. It smells good. It does. Mm-hmm. You know, again, a lot of things I'm tasting, We've, we've already had uh, the one from Fremont. It's sort of that West Coast piney sort of mm -hmm. yeah, hop, uh, resinous. Mm -hmm. It's not that sort of overpower citra bomb like we're used to on the New England IPAs. It's all the craze. Kind of refreshing. You know, it's mm -hmm. not sort of everything that's going this way today with yeah. the New England yeah. IPAs. It's and this sort of is that kind resonous. of, yeah. they're reminiscent of the Pliny, the other word. Exactly. It kind yep. of all started with really that West good. Coast kind of IPA, which yeah. went, and uh, here's another mm. nice example of a good uh, Pacific Northwest brew. Again, 100 IBUs. It's not as, as bitter as I thought it would be. Mm -mm. It's well balanced. Um, and for 8-2%, this could get you in trouble because I don't taste much alcohol. 8-2. No. Wow. Yeah, 8-2. Yeah, it's, it's a big boy, so not bad. So two for two, uh, really smooth, really awesome. balanced. And well um, looking forward to seeing what else we Let's got. Let's go. All right, so our next review takes us to Georgetown Brewing. This is actually a brewery started by two friends who cool. uh, were tired of uh, working for someone else, wanted to do their own thing. And actually, up until 2017, were the largest brewery in the United States that were draft only. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool that we actually got our hands on a couple of these brews because they only distribute to California, yep. Idaho, Oregon, and Japan. Wow. Makes perfect sense. I Makes perfect that. sense. Uh -huh. So two beers we're going to try. One is seasonal. That's the Citrus Galaxy, Galaxy IPA. This Ooh. one is the Tony, what is it? The uh, Bod... Hippisa. Bod hip Bod Hippisa. Say that. Bod Zippisa. I should have had you spell that instead of Rhododendron. You, were, you should have. I would have gotten that wrong too. <laughs> no doubt about but it. But anyway, this is a year round offering from them. Um, both of them, let's get noses on them here. So again, you see the same kind of traditional style at play here, which yeah. I think I like. Nice ghost. Um, again, Piney, resinous, sort of mm -hmm. uh, yeah. a little bit of citrus in, I think, the Citrus Galaxy. Not as much as I would expect. But it's pleasant smelling. Good beers. Let's get into it. Mm. That's a good beer. The body. Hithiva? Body Hivida. Hivida. Hivisa. Again, uh, I don't know what the particulars are, how many IBUs they say was on Six this one, but it's 6.9%. 6. So, again, close. yeah, very easy to drink. Yeah, these are, yeah. again, kind of. In the same vein here. They I are. Mean, so it's cool though. It's good to see. Well, they're consistent. Yes. So if you are looking for a West Coast style beer yes. from, from the Pacific Northwest in Washington, all of these beers fit yep. that bill. Yeah. Not yeah. one of them said to me, yeah. "My goodness, to step way outside the comfort zone," which mm. I think is kind of neat. So you you mm. kind of know that when you go out to yeah. Washington, you're going to grab a Washingtonian IPA. This is Citrus Galaxy. This is a good one too. Expect, yeah, you know, very so, good. Yeah, Citrus Galaxy. It's been, it's been yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was really good too. So um, I'd say a success for episode number two. We oh, want to yeah. thank you, Bill, for sending these thank to you us. Very much. Go check out his channel. We'll link you with all of his information below. Yes. Um, and in the meantime, if you like what you see from 21090, please hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell in the corner. It's going to let you know every time we've got yes. a new video. Uh, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, we've got Untapped, so we can rate all these now, yeah, and go. you can rate them with us. Yep. Yeah. So you'll see what we rated all mm -hmm. these Washington beers. Go to Untapped on our page, Absolutely. you'll see. And also, if you'd like to be spotlighted on our series, we've got a bunch coming up, but we still have a lot of states that we have not touched yet. So email us at 21090brewing at gmail.com. We would love to showcase your state out there because 7,000 breweries out there mm -hmm. and counting. Trust me, there's a lot of stuff we haven't tried yet. We've got some good stuff for you Emails. to try as well. So yeah, so you send email. them, we'll drink them. Yep, absolutely, and we'll send back. So until next time, and I don't think we're going too far away for next time. No. Cheers, everybody, Cheers. and we'll see you soon on our state series. All right, thank good you, job, Washington. Yes, thank you. Mm. Starbucks, five dollars for a coffee. This will never catch on. Never. Your voice is awfully deep for a 19. <laughs> <laughs>
what you want me to do? Start the death of 80s hair metal. <sighs> yeah, we still hold a grudge. Yes. But Firehouse won in 91 over Nirvana. <laughs> yeah, for best new act of metal, that's true. Right. They, they won the best heavy metal, best new act over that's Nirvana right. and See, Pearl we were right back then. See, we knew, we knew. That was when MTV actually played videos. Right. They just do this. They don't like this. Country of origin, please. Mexico. <laughs> what did you say it was? What, 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 language of origin. Okay, language of origin. I, I said the wrong thing. Okay. All right, do that again. There we go. Language of origin. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Like that. And don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Got <Low> one line. <laughs> Hey, Andy, thanks for sending us these Zima. Mm. <laughs> hey, no problem. These things are going to be huge. And don't forget, the best baseball player to ever play in Seattle, probably the best ball player to ever live, if you ask me, the kid, the sweetest swing ever, Ken Griffey Jr. Made that backwards hat famous. Ooh. Show some respect. Turn it around. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll get it out of there, then. God, these... Indian burps are so bad, Tony. It's chicken vindaloo. <laughs> it's extra spicy. It doesn't smell like vindaloo. Mm, <clears throat> like Altaloo. <laughs> Altaloo. <laughs> I don't know why. That's so funny. Okay. Up next, we have an offer from Barrel Pack. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he screws up. He does a lot. Does yeah, that. it's true. Relax. 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 <laughs> there you go. All right. Up next, we have an offering from Bale Breaker. They've been around since 2013 and already are the fifth largest brewery in Washington. State of Washington. We're in Washington. Time We're to in Washington. Washington. <laughs> All right. Play me out, Johnny. All right. Wait. <laughs> you can do it. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Tony, what do you got here for our first Bod one? Bod Hizifasa. Bizabuwu. Bod <laughs> Hizafa. Look, look, look at this. How do you say that? Bod what? Hizafa. Clearly, it's a bod hisafa. Anyone who knows how to actually pronounce that, a uh, bod, bod hisafa. Who names their beer that? Well, George Brewing. Brewing. Bod hisafa. <laughs> bod bod zifasa. Bod zifasa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. How do you say that? Bod hisafa. Uh, that's it. Bod hisafa. No. Bod hisafa. Maybe it's a soft J. It might be. There's no J. It there. might be. Stop. Woo! Twenty-one forty-eight. Should be it.